give advice as we're at the stage of the game where every epic unit does have its place or usefulness but if I was just to make a brief comment about some units to keep an eye out for that are directly upgrades for your um, core unit selection from before. The first one I'll talk about is Butcher. You get given this unit uh, as part of a server campaign so everyone is guaranteed to get this unit and this is worthwhile investing into as an early game attacker. The next one would be Tanks. Now of the epic catalog there is two I would say they're going to be direct upgrades to your Shepherd. The first one is Warden which literally is, it's in a better version of Shepherd. Uh, and then the second one I'll keep an eye out for is Yazid purely because of their um, effective health and survivability. Uh, as it, when it goes to supports uh, we can think of Salvation as a direct upgrade to your, shel uh, to your shelter uh, as they're going to be in all intents and purposes a better healer. Uh, and then there is the other final support I want to talk about is uh, Healer Door. This is a unit that has capacity to fill many holes in team compositions and this was one of the first units I took to level 60. This has the ability, particularly when you get to its refit too, has the ability to both be a tank as well as a healer, uh, as well as a buffer. So do not sleep on this unit at all. The other final unit I'll give us, or two, sorry, two final units to give us honourable mentions is Flamel. There are quite a few people in the community that will swear by the healing capacity of this unit and I would agree that pushing a lot of campaign is going to be much easier with this unit but uh, it requires you to have their refit too. In addition to this, there is one of the newer units with Styria, who I'd say is going to be one of your early game Vault Boss composition units. Uh, and this unit will pair again, once uh, once again, really well with your Yarrow and Carnation to be um, dealing damage there.